Hey GTI fans, welcome back to another episode of Empyrean Galactic Survival. This is your host Zila, and we are here today doing the Eden Project, or sorry, Project Eden. Um, and, oh, are we tipping over in here? Let's take off. So the sun's come up, and, you know, the fog does burn off quite a bit when the sun's out. But still, it's really foggy on the planet. Um, I think we're going to get a better time with solar if we just do it out in space. So I dropped some water generators back down there and filled them up with fuel. So we'll let those run, and we're just going to go. Uh, we need silicone, but I think I want to go find that in space. And the reason why we need silicone, we actually need silicone and stone, but <clears throat> hopefully I'll get enough stone from mining the silicone. And because I want to... See, that's actually really cool looking with the, without all the fog. Um, because I want to put a space base out here. That's right, a space base. We'll have it facing the sun. But I don't have enough silicone to build it. So this is what we want to bring in is our space base, seventh level space base. Uh, this is all ready to go for Alpha 11.5. It's tier 2 CPU currently at 100% efficiency. It doesn't have any grow plots in it yet. It is only level 7. Um, but you can see it takes a lot of silicone, some stone, some iron, a decent amount of iron, and a little bit of copper, and a little bit of everything else except for uh, arrestrum, zascosium. It only needs a little bit of sathium and neo, so that's not a big deal. Same with cobalt. So the, those are going to actually be pretty easy to get. I think we've got a couple of like capacitor devices probably will do um yeah but we don't have nearly enough silicone i think we're about halfway to having enough silicone so we need another we need like a full stack of ore plus and then we need um we're gonna need some more stone dust we're gonna need like a full stack of, of crushed stone so let's go find some silicone some silicone. We should be able to find some in orbit here. Uh, yeah. I mean, we could go try and get all the silicone out of these ships. That's not a bad idea either. But I do need the stone. So, yeah, let's just mine. Oops. Do I have... There we go. That was weird. What? I hadn't gotten rid of any of my con console F6 command. I don't know why it was only giving me a partial console. That was weird. Okay. We're looking for asteroids to just pop in. They're more than likely going to be above or below the, the actual asteroid belt, I bet. It's a belt. Uh, well, I guess the belt is fairly flat. Well, that's not bad then. Let's get uh, let's hit, let's get into the belt more then. We just got to be careful not to be too far into the belt and be attacked by something that's hiding behind all the asteroids. Oh, can 
see stuff floating around there. start getting shot at we're flying away oh, it looks like wrecks okay Okay. Interesting. Uh, what are those thrusters there? They are. Hmm. That's interesting. Well, I think we can come back to this. I mean, I don't see a lot of glass. I think I would stay if there was a lot of glass, but I don't see any glass. So let's um, mark this as, we'll call this uh, some more wrecks. And go like that. Not going to show on HUD, and we'll just go like that. That's fine. Okay. We need some asteroids. We need a silicone asteroid. Well, I am going to come grab you when I find one. Hopefully, I'll be right back. Well, I didn't actually take that long. Um, there's probably silicone all over the place, but I started flying, and first thing that I really found, other than the, the salvage back there that I marked, was this silicone asteroid. So, yay! Let's dig it up. So I'm going to use my drone to do this. So we're probably going to have to move a couple times. When I hit level 20, I can make a, a drill for this thing. That will make it a little easier and faster. Okay, so in the meantime... We can shut the thrusters off. Um, oh, put us at it was at 99 efficiency. What the hell did we lose a block or something? <laughs> we might have. Uh, okay, let's make sure we're topped up on everything. Let's get that there. Get that. Yeah, we got to get this base going. We got to start refining ore and and making stuff. Okay. Uh, jetpack, jetpack. Thank you. And what's this up? Okay. Nice. So what we're going to do is... Oh, you know what? It's only 59 degrees out there. Okay. Well, not a big deal. We can... Um, we'll use our, our drone and use the air from inside the ship first. Let's link to our container controller. And 
Did I make myself another drill? No, I didn't. I sold it and I never, I never made myself a new one. Let's make a new one. Oh, that's funny. Okay. Uh, go like that. We still got lots of charges. Good. And then we'll go like this. And that. Yeah, we'll put it there on five. That's fine. Okay, let's get our drone out. And get into this silicone. As soon as we can reload. There we go. Yeah, we're getting good crushed stone too. So... I'm going to work at the silicone and try and get all of it, obviously, and get a good chunk of the crushed stone around it because uh, we need a lot. We need a lot for that base that we're going to spawn in. Okay, I will come get you when I've got all this. Okay, we have everything ready to go now. We mined up all that silicone, we refined it. I actually made like windows and crap and threw that in the factory or in the blueprint factory. And the space base is ready to go. So I'm going to spawn this in. It's level seven. Uh, it's not 100% complete. It's going to need a little bit more gear and we can upgrade it a little bit. Um, it still has some cap space for the t2 uh cpu class uh it needed only a little bit of neon sass to make it t2 so i consider this almost like a starter base for space um it's it's got enough so that it should be able to support like two people no problem for food maybe even three people uh, in the way of size and growth plus you could even like expand on that too there's there's room for expansion anyway let's bring this in so i'm just going to jump out here let's go into first person now ideally I guess I could shut. Ooh, that is hot there. <laughs> is it hot here? No. I guess I could shut off the thrusters. Yeah. Good enough. Okay. Uh, what we want is we want the planet directly behind us for the view. And so the, the sun, we want to be like facing the sun. With the planet directly in behind us. I think this is about as good as it gets. Let's level off. And we're going to bring in our center our view to the sun. It's okay if it's a little bit below us because the solar panels are underneath the. Uh, <laughs> it just, it'll work. Okay. So let's go in and we're going to spawn this. Okay. Um, so I guess anywhere around there should work. Looks good. Let's do it. Boom. Our space base. All right. We'll see how good the... Oh, it looks like it had power for a second there. Let's see what... Uh... Oh, it powered back up on its own. Let's see if it stays powered on its own with just solar. It looks like it will. Nice, because that's everything. Oh, maybe not. <laughs> oh, too bad. Okay, I was hoping. I was hoping. It looks like it stays on for quite a while. We can shut 
off non useful things. Um, how close are we? Yeah, we can actually transfer stuff from there. So we can go down inside from here. There's no. Oops. Bloody thing. Power. Power fluctuating. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just let me in. Okay, I know. <laughs> Doing some uh, space tumbling. Okay. <clears throat> yeah, it doesn't look like it can handle the power with everything turned on. But it looks like it's real close. Let's take a look. 255. So we're really not that close to the sun in this sector. Oh, that sucks. Consumption is 700. <sighs> I was really hoping for better numbers than that. That is kind of pathetic, to tell you the truth. Wow. Uh, okay. Well, that sucks. That really sucks. So let's try just uh, turning pretty much everything off. We can turn these off. I mean, I don't think it's going to make much of a difference. Once we've got the grow plots going, this is going to be a fuel using base, which isn't really... I mean, it's not going to use a ton of fuel. But that is really pathetic. I am... I'm really disappointed in the solar. That 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 is not that good. Um, well, I don't know what to say. <laughs> I was hoping the solar was going to power it. <sighs> I guess I got to use fuel. So I did put a Jenny in, a single Jenny, small Jenny with a bunch of fuel tanks. I mean, I, that's just, that's too bad. That's too bad. I mean, I guess I could have tested that. I could also nuke this down, but you know how long it would take to to nuke this down at this point? Oh, well, it's cheap enough. We'll make another one. We'll spawn it somewhere closer to the sun. <laughs> Maybe somewhere that has water, too. I don't know. This might be the closest planet to the sun with water. <sighs> okay. Let's... Um, some fuel in. Do we have any made? <clears throat> I think we have some in here. Here, we'll just throw this in there for now. Keep it running. Okay. Well, that's disappointing that all that solar, all those 15 solar panels are only getting 255 output to them from them I should say I'm gonna go check these what I mean yeah four bar four and four so it's the we're just too far away from the Sun is what I'm thinking this sector is too far away from the Sun it's too bad so here we go this is my first attempt at a base that looks like something should be in space. Now, I, I know that you can see the oxygen tanks there, but I guess I could cover that with something. This is not a finished base, by the way. It's kind of hastily put together, to tell you the truth. Um, I mean, if, if we were closer to the sun, I'm sure this would kick ass for power, but unfortunately it needs to be augmented with fuel, now keep in mind, um, it it is about half the. It's keeping up to almost half of what its fuel needs are. So, at least at least the solar is helping, and it's it's a good help. It's better than nothing. So these are our grow areas. Let's go back inside here. There's another way we can get back in at the very bottom. 
So I haven't really finished everything. I'm not sure if I want to keep it this texture or anything. I just kind of made it neutral for now. I didn't want to make it look like concrete, so to speak. But, I mean, that's what kind of this texture close-up is, concrete, right? Didn't really notice that. I might. I wanted to find a nice, um, a nice, just smooth metallic one, but there isn't. Not for concrete. Anyway, so this is the bottom floor, and then go up to. Not really sure what to do with this yet. Uh, I was thinking to make turn this into the bathrooms. The bathroom so we'll finish this off uh, right now it's got you know a shower and toilet so at least there's that <clears throat> and then this floor is kind of a small very very small apartment two apartments uh, with bunk beds basically so there's a bunk bed closet and <laughs> small table um, and this is mirrored on the other side basically so down to there then we go up to the next level which is basically the power station power oxygen so all the fuel this is where we're going to put the uh, gravity generator so that's going to start eating up some power too so yeah we i mean we can put more we can put more fuel in here it's not a big deal it's just unfortunate that the uh solar really sucks <sighs> Hopefully everything won't die when we leave. <laughs> you know, we put everything on low power mode. Turn all the lights off except for the cooking light or the uh, growing lights. So this is the um, kind of the construction room and it's also the storage. So these are all extensions here. So we've got a couple of um, decent size, you know, 6400 or 64,000 uh, SU and then we I think this one is like in the 200s what why is that only 70 oh no no sorry that's 240 um, yeah so right now that one's at 240 and those ones were 64 right yeah <clears throat> so we've got a decent enough storage for a small base. I mean, it's really not a big base. It's just... And then there's the extender for the CPU. We've got the top level here is currently unused. So it's just, you know, uh, we can do whatever we want with it, really. What a fantastic view. That's what I was hoping for, for it special view that is that's that's fantastic okay so let's go over to the um we can we can get the gardens going now so we get there through the power level or each individual uh pod so we should get the uh grow our gravity i guess going first right we need to build a gravity generator um, it's also, we need like, um, uh, armor lockers and like, um, uh, repair station. I don't know if we're going to put a bay on this cause we, I don't know if we, well, I guess we could, if we turn it all off. It shouldn't consume too much power, but so we're going to knock these out. So let's knock these out. Let's, uh, let's link to what we got here. So we've got. We could link to a closet. Wow, they hold a thousand actually. That's not bad. Uh, anyway, so let's. I guess we should link to the big one, right? Yeah, because we also want a deconstructor. So, I'm I'm not going to put a furnace on this base. It just doesn't have the power for the solar power. I was, I like I say, I'm disappointed, but. 
whatever. It doesn't matter. I could I could put I guess a make a separate base for deconstructing and you know let it let it regen on its own. And then when I'm here, I can turn it on and start using it. I guess. Anyway. Uh, oh, did I not link? Let's change my link. So 24, 240,000. Yeah, we're going to link to that. That's inside here. That's our main storage. So, and then we are pub, or we're private, right? Yeah, because we spawned it in. Okay. Let's get these out. All the ones I painted green are the ones to come out. They're just placeholders. I guess I didn't even really need to. It's just that if somebody wasn't going to bother putting grow plots in, they wouldn't need to uh, remove these. They, they could just um, re texture them, you know, and paint them to whatever they wanted to do. Anyway, so here we go. This is the, this is going to be the cafeteria, and this will be the food production side. And then the other side, here we'll go grab the plot, or the uh, blocks out of that side. So this is going to be the medicine and, you know, extra, it will be, it'll contribute to food a bit too. It's just, oh, painted those ones gimpered. That's okay. We'll just take all those out. It don't matter at all. Okay, and I mean, I could organize the lights differently and, and like lift up the, the underside of it. I could put like all grow plots in here if I wanted and just go crazy. I just, I don't know. The only other option I was thinking of is, is making this a, another set of nine grow plots. Uh... I don't know. I don't think it's necessary. I just. So this is going to be uh, medicine and we're going to have medical in here also. So we also have medical equipment that we can place in here. It's going to take up juice, but whatever, whatever at this point we've got, we do have fuel. It's not like we don't have fuel. We can make more. I'm close to level 22, so we can start making fusion. Uh, what am I looking at the base for? Derp a derp. Let's, um, um, where did I put it all? I think it's in, yes. Here we go. There's four right here. And then do I have any of the, I don't have any made, right? No. We gotta upgrade the large constructors to at least one of them to an advanced constructor. That's gonna that's gonna really eat into the um, well. It doesn't matter about power because we can turn it off. But attack difficulty two. There's not gonna be attack out here, is there? That'd be trippy if he figured out how to do that. <laughs> Uh, kudos. I mean, I'm pretty sure that is coming. We're going to see space base attack uh, coming in the near future alpha, I'm, I'm assuming. So right now I'm just getting away with it because, uh, you know, there's, we don't, that, that function isn't in the game yet. So this base, this base, you'd have to, um, get defenses up and going right away and this is only made out of just regular glass and concrete it, it wouldn't even take one rocket to like take it out so i actually put the core completely exposed on this one it's right there because <laughs> you know this is for single player only 
uh, or PVE, I guess, you know. <clears throat> uh, okay. Well, I don't know where to put these. Let's do... What else should I do? I've got one armor locker. I don't. Should I put that on this side, though? I guess I could. Got some beds, some furnishings, but I need uh, these are grow plots there and the wooden ones. We should actually go do those across the way. I want to get food production up and running first. I know. I want. I know we need medicine too. It's just we need everything. We did find the. The other sector has the um, uh, which call it. That's all the wrecks there. The other sector has all of the trading that trading station where we can buy them. So okay, so let's just put these in. Get these done. Here we go. these here okay and then we we'll get these in uh, I don't know if I want to use steel ones we could make more wooden ones we could make concrete ones too I think uh, I think is a better idea uh, I want to I wouldn't mind holding on to the steel ones and I can just throw those into the next CV that we're gonna build once we get the the proper parts if we don't get the parts for it we won't be bringing it in so <laughs> uh i don't know i guess because of that i guess we could use these you know what screw it we can always make more they're made right now let's use them okay so excellent we have this one ready to go we're gonna get some oxygen in here let's get some oxygen i got 10 on me that's not going to be enough. What else have we got here? No oxygen in the CV? Really? Got a ton of water. That's good. Uh, now let's eat a burger. I mean, seriously, I only brought 10 oxygen. I mean, I have a ton of water, a lot of water, so we're not. Okay, so I must have used it up. I think I filled up the CV with a, t with a lot. Okay, uh, I'm not sure if this 10 will, this 10 will not cut it. Let's put it in anyway. What does it need? Oh, it will. A little bit to spare. Okay. Well, I guess we could turn it on. There we go. We have oxygen. Yay! Okay. So next up is we really need to put more fuel in. And let's do that. Um, and the medical equipment let's do that so we'll come we'll come back we'll get the garden going here in a second we've got the sprouts just get this medical equipment in okay so this is going to be medicine construction here this will be medical over here. So, uh, have it right in the corner there, and then we can start putting stuff along here. Let's do that. So, we'll put the the station there so that'll be good enough for cloning and for healing and then we need some of these we need the uh, 
Um, just indigestion, food poisoning. We need the radiation one. So we're going to do that one. We can do that here. So let's spin this. Should we do it like that or like, like that? Should we put it there? Kind of like it there. Let's do that. <clears throat> and then. What does this one do again? Broken leg, mutilation, open fracture, crossbite, dermal burn. This one. This is the other one I want in a space base. Okay. I mean, we've got a shower downstairs, right? I should probably put one up here, too. But, uh, need a table. Yeah, let's just put it there. That's fine. Okay. Here, let's, so we don't fall in there right now. We've got some space. Uh, let's go get... Let's go get... Do we... We didn't make one, did we? I don't think we have a uh, gravity generator. Nope, not here. Yeah, we don't have one. Okay. Okay, um, hmm, we've got force fields, RCS, good, so we can, we can work on our, uh, trying to t attain some small optotronic matrix and bring in a decent combat SP if we can get some more Arrestrium Zascosium components, but this RCS is just a standard one, so it's just a SAF Neo. That's fine. <clears throat> okay. Well, we don't have any more grow pots. That's fine. Let's do the sprout. So we're going to get. Here, I'm not going to put that in. So let's just put. Whoops. That one, that one. We gotta name these soon. And do we have? We don't have any medical equipment deco stuff, do we? So, what can we do with this? We can do the shower. Shower, where can we put that? Like right here. So when you come down, it's like right there. Uh, okay, that's probably all we need here. And then... What else? So we can turn we can turn a bunch of this stuff off, I think. So let's let's actually name this stuff right now, because it is all grouped. Medical? Oh, yeah. Um I guess we have caps lock on here, so Medical, and then uh, what else? The other ones. We can name those when we go over there and plant. So this is also going to be, you know what, we'll name this one medical too. Medical and, um, yeah. Okay, so we've got. Got a bit of a medical, 
area going now. We've got to get all the grow plots going and the plants now for there. Okay. Good, good. Okay. So let's get our sprouts going. Then we'll go get uh, a gravity generator made. Get that in and we'll probably call it an episode at that point. That's pretty good and we'll well, we can walk around then at that point. Uh, oh, I need to get oxygen on the go too. So let's, but that's, a, I think we're still okay on that, right? For quite a bit. Yeah, it's only us consuming it. It's going to take a while to consume that before it has nothing to consume and then it's going to crap out. But that's okay. So. Let's plant this. Let's put this back here. Uh, the armor locker. Yeah, we've got to put that in still. <laughs> Whoops. It's okay. Let's get these going. Got our sprouts here. This is awesome. Oh, wait. I want to put those on the other side, actually. Put that. Bring that. Got wheat. I have some natural sweetener. Some oranges. Um, yeah. Yeah, I think that's good for this side. The other side, I'll probably get some coffee. I don't have enough to make any. That's okay. Uh, and then some other various stuff, the, the healing stuff and fruit and you know that sort of stuff okay so we need at least a full thing of nine oops of nine spice so let's just get these two in here that means if we have nine spice if we want to make um the emergency ration packs we're going to need at least six of the flowers so let's do the six flowers here these two rows and then we want oranges so let's we only want two oranges though it's kind of an oddball number and, and wheat and then that whole one is actually going to be uh, pumpkins so let's do oranges we'll do an orange one there and then we'll do wheat in the middle one then we're going to do another orange there okay so now pumpkins no 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 pumpkins <laughs> uh, we're going to go We'll just start them here. Okay. There we have it. We finally have a garden started. And this is the essentials to, to the four ingredients needed to make. Actually, well, we've got a fifth ingredient because I'm going to have an overload of, of plant protein and vegetables because of the uh, pumpkin patch. But um, yeah. Yeah, there we go. There we go. Let's build the gravity generator and we'll call it an episode so we can get out through the bottom again. Or we can fly out the... Um, still got some... I guess I, I could do the other garden three. That's fine. Oops, I didn't go all the way down. What am I doing? Come on. I need this gravity generator. It's hard. I... I, I'm not very good at flying around in zero G and elevators, to tell you the truth. With the with the uh, jetpack, it just it's not the easiest thing in the world. Okay, so you, Mr. Constructor, make us a gravity generator. Whoa! 
Can you? Do I know how? Yes, I do, and you can. So let's do that. Boom. Sweet. That's the only real piece missing in this. And I can also make a deconstructor. I might have to go with a bigger generator, too. This thing's definitely going to be fuel-powered. That really sucks, because I wanted it to be pretty much independent on solar. But if we do want to use the deconstructor, we're going to have to put it on a base. So... Uh, we'll just have to, you know, we'll have to make a lot of fuel. Which I should actually probably do right now. Let's make a whole crap ton more fuel. Oh, you know what? No. Uh, we need, uh, we need oxygen, don't we? <laughs> yeah. So we can make a crap ton of that. Let's do... 50, 100, that'll make 200 oxygen. And that'll eat up a whole stack of water. That's okay, we've got three. And we almost have, well, we do have four full stacks. We have four full stacks of water. So we're, and 200 oxygen will last a long time. 200 bottles. Yeah, that's going to be kick-ass. Okay, here we go. We've got our gravity generator. Let's go put that in. And our deconstructor. Um, I'll probably use the other 64. You know, oh, hang on. Let's switch to the base. Space base. I'm not sure. So that's medical. Guess one of these fridges. That's fine. We can always. They're not gonna. They're not gonna die anyway because they're. They won't expire. So that's good. Okay. Uh. So here we go. We've got three more things to put in. We will call it an episode. So let's get these done. Get these in. Uh, it's not a bad looking base. I. I. I wish concrete. You can make it. I mean, there is metal texturing, but it just looks like crap on these angles. I, I actually had it all textured with a with a metal texturing. I tried a couple different ones actually, and I don't know. It's just I couldn't get anything to look even semi decent. So I just went with plain white. Screw it. Plain, plain white jip rock. <laughs> okay, we can get in through here. So let's do that. Oops, come on. Stupid thing. Let, let me in. Come on. I'm gonna... I missed it. <laughs> okay, so that's where this... That's where it's handy to have the third person because you can actually see how crappy you are. Um... So, there we go. Let's put the... We're going to put the gravity gen in here. And then we can walk around. So, right here. That's where she's meant to go. There we go. And we can take our jetpack off. And we'll... Okay, so let's make sure... I never actually tested the extent of the gravity... Let's hope it reaches right to the edge. I'm thinking it will where I placed it should be central enough. Yep. Nice. Yay. Happy dance. Okay. And I'm pretty sure it's going to extend up and down all the way. Up is the furthest. Let's see if it does. So up. So far, yes. And then... Yep. Yay! Oh, turn our light on. So there we are. We are walking on the roof here with our gravity. Sweet. 
sweet. Okay. Um, deconstructor. I'm thinking in here. Although, mm, let's see if we can put it in the constructor room. We could squish it in right there, either side. Uh, kind of buries the cargo. I don't necessarily like that. It's not going to fit anywhere else. Uh, you know what? Upstairs. Upstairs. We've got lots of space upstairs that we're just not even using right now. We can do something with this over on the side, I guess, or at the back. Let's do the side here. We'll do it up against here. And then, no, we won't. If we do it up against here, that's fine. Okay, and then, well, we don't have anything to deconstruct right now, so it's just turned off. That's good. That won't be consuming any power. Speaking of, so we are consuming power. Um, and a horrific rate, I bet now, yeah, so 800, but we haven't turned everything off that we could turn off, and we're going to make a switch to do that, so we should be able to bring that down to, you know, in, into the high 600s again, and make it doable. Uh, let's take a look where we are with the, here, we're going to go into the, you know what, not from here, cargo, um, where was I putting that out to? Here. So there we go. We've got tons. Let's fill up the base here. Nice. Nice. Okay. And then... <clears throat> Well, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to get this all sorted out. I'm going to get some switches and uh, set it up for, for low power mode. Um, I might even set up the lighting into sensors, although the sensors take energy themselves. So it's like, eh. <laughs> I mean, it's good for a sensor is really good for a large room with a whole bunch of lights and stuff. Then you can cut that down so that when you walk into it, it turns the lights on for you. Um, I don't know. Let's here. Let's let's take a look. Let's take a look. Maybe it'll show us here. We can take a look here. So no, because it's a it's a stack of blocks of various blocks so it's not going to show us let's just turn that off oh is it not gonna okay get rid of that how do i get rid of that <laughs> i can't get rid of it now there we go <laughs> that's weird uh, okay guys well uh i'm gonna leave the episode here we've got our space base with a garden going um i think it's actually a pretty cool base it's one of my more not so brick looking things um it's a little bit more on the easier on the eyes and less on the utilitarian although what are we at now for cpu so we've got a ton of cpu points left here we've got seventy thousand. So we can bump one of the constructors up to, or even both, although that would that would add another 40,000 if we added both. Should only bump at 20,000, I think, if we bump one. I'll take a look. Um, but we will be bumping one for sure. That'll put it at least to 150. That'll give us another 50,000 CPU to play with. Uh, I think... You know, the grow plots, see, they, they only take up one per. So that's like nothing. That's nothing. 
And we're not going to add any more blocks really to this. And I'm not really sure if we need to add a whole bunch more in the way of cargo. Because this is just a temporary stopping, jumping off point. Right now it's to make medicine for us, food and medicine really. And do a little bit of processing. You know, we can, we can uh, hook up the deconstructor to one of them. So I'm going to name everything. Get that all sorted. We might look at retexturing this. Um, although this is really easy on the eyes, and I know it's I know it's lame. I know it's really lame, but it's it, it is it's easy on the eyes. Although I do need some lights in here, don't I? Yeah. This is an unfinished room, by the way, as you can see. <laughs> okay. Well, I'm gonna keep working on the base and get this all sorted out. We're gonna get some more fuel made. We're gonna get basically most of the mats transferred over to it and we're just going to keep some skeleton mats on the cv um i need to go get i need to find a somewhere where it's where it's going to sell optotronics the stuff for the cpu extenders the tier three stuff or else we're going to have problems moving forward in the game and like I say, if it doesn't exist in the scenario, I might have to H menu it in, which is not really what I wanted. And if we do that, what I'll do is I'll I'll try and earn cash and throw and I'll discharge. I'll just I'll I'll throw away the cash. They they usually sell for about one hundred seventy five thousand. Like or sorry, uh, they usually you can purchase them on average for about one seventy five. Is about the average. I've seen them as low as 155 and as one high as 195. So 175 is a good in between average. So uh, okay, guys. Next episode, uh, I should have the base sorted, and I'll have an action plan for us. Right now, we're a little bit in limbo. Um, the PDA is all is all gibbered. Um, so I'm hoping you know. A reboot um, I don't want to reload the scenario and bring every port everything over to a new play but we might have to and at this point it wouldn't be too tragic we don't have a lot going on we've got our CB the SV and the base now uh, I think it should be fairly doable to port that over I'll just figure out what we have in in all the cargo um and do that you know uh, i can also do it the literally bring the the save item over and bring that into a new game um but that can be tricky too uh it's just as easy just to to item menu a blueprint in and then bring in the um, the ores and whatnot all your your stuff that you had uh, you know just screenshot it and bring in what you had and, and then it's good anyway I'm calling it here so next episode I will have the base sword and have an action plan until then you guys have yourselves an awesome awesome day <laughs>